Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to shrink your windows partition to allow for more space for another partition. So what you're going to do is open your disk management from windows by searching it on the search. You're going to right click on your windows partition and click on shrink. However, you might run into this problem here where it says you have zero megabytes available. So the steps are very simple. You don't need any exterior programs. Everything is from windows itself. So what you're going to do is, first of all, disable system protection. So make sure to back up all your files if they are important. You're going to go to uh, system properties and go to system protection and you're going to disable that because that basically makes unmovable saves of your files, which can interfere with the partitions. Next, we're going to do some disk cleanup. This will basically delete all unnecessary files that are taking space. They might be unmovable and like system files that might interfere with the shrinking. So you can see it's taking quite a bit of time to load, but it is loading in the background. It might take like up to 10 minutes to detect all the files that it should remove. So here it popped up. It's just loading. And you're basically going to select everything here, but you want to make sure not to delete any of your important files. So check like your, your downloads and your old Windows installations. So I'm just going to select everything here. And right here, you have the, the old Windows updates, which is taking like 70 gigabytes. So that's really a lot of storage that might interfere with the shrinking if it's on like a, a weird part of your uh, hard drive. So I'm going to check here windows.old folder in the C drive. You can see there are some files here, so I'm just going to save them because they will be deleted through this process. So just double check everything and clean the drive. This will take a while. It took me about like an hour, two hours, perhaps since it's like 70 GB and my hard drive is quite slow. Next thing, we're going to go back into our system properties and we are going to go here and we're going to disable the system failure debugging information, which will, uh, which basically writes uh, logs if uh, anything happens to your system, but these logs might uh, like be on a weird part of the drive. Then we're going to turn off hibernation by doing power cfg space forward slash hibernate space off in the command prompt as admin. Uh, hibernation, basically it's like sleep, but instead of saving your uh, storage in the RAM, it saves it on your hard drive, which uh, again, creates like weird files that can't be moved. Then back in system properties, we're now gonna remove the page file, which is basically like your uh, virtual memory. So when your RAM becomes full, uh, it basically stores your RAM on your hard drive, which again creates like weird files that are hidden and unmovable. So you're going to disable the page file completely. You can enable it after the process is done. So you're just going to follow these steps. Just double check, make sure it's actually turned off. And then you're going to quickly reboot your computer before going back into your disk management utility to try the process once again. So you're going to right click on your Windows partition, click on shrink, and you can see we have some storage space which can now be shrinked successfully. However, if you still don't have enough space, the last thing you want to do is defragment your disk. So you're going to go here, defragment and optimize your disk. Going to select your C drive and click on optimize. This will take a while, maybe two hours. It's basically moving everything on your hard drive to one side of it, to like the interior, to make space for other partitions. So once you're done with that, you can go back to your disk management utility and shrink your partition. I'm gonna do 256 gigs. So basically you're gonna do 1024 times the number of gigabytes you want to shrink because there's 100, 1024 megabytes in one gigabyte. You're going to click on shrink and this is also going to take a while, maybe like 20 minutes or less, depending on your hard drive speed. And once you're done, you're going to have this 
unallocated partition. Well, it's not actually a partition, it's just free space on your drive, which you can then allocate to different parts and do whatever you want with it. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Check the description for another video for dual booting and other cool stuff.